Uh, yeah, my little cousin, she asked me to uh, sit down and read out a, uh, a CP file. So I found one that I thought looked cool. This one is the uh, Bumpkin Man. All right. Let's go ahead and read this. Special containment procedures for SCP-2005-1531 is precisely not under containment. Field agents encountering SCP-2531 are to exercise a caution to ensure vine stem umbilical connection is not severed or damaged. Once secure, efforts are made to bring, bring SCP-2531 to term, allowing indefinite containment. Description. scp is a twenty no wait a seventy kilogram I've been reading for too long. One hundred and fifty pound humanoid figure of in, indeterminable sex and pallid complexion, usually found in a state of advanced decay in each occurrence. SCP two thousand five three one has been discovered sealed within a known as a giant squash or giant pumpkin. SCP-2531's two, uh, two, two, height has been found to vary depending on the volume of the pumpkin's interior DNA samples taken from SCP-2531 have confirmed the humanoid figure, although usually severely decomposed, deformed, and contorted shares 91.4 DNA match to the Homo sapiens, sapiens, and 72.2 match to Homo neanderthalus. SCP 2531 is found in connection to the interior wall of the giant pumpkin via umbilical cord composed of both plant and animal matter. The cord runs from the inside of the pumpkin's stem to the base of SCP 2531's skull. SCP-2531 does not exhibit any an abdominal navel. Alter the vine stem umbilical is, is severely damaged. SCP-2531 begins to decompose at an exponential rate until only organic dust remains. After an unknown amount of time, SCP-2531 is rediscovered within a new pumpkin. Despite efforts by the Foundation and non-Foundation to preserve SCP-2531 to date, no attempts have contained, no attempts at containment have proven effective. Decomposition and reoccurrence of SCP-2531 is currently under investigation. Each pumpkin wherein SCP-2531 were discovered to weigh in between 340 kilograms, 750 pounds, and 370 kilograms, 180 pounds. Any evidence of an SCP-2,331, I mean 2,531 reoccurrence should be investigated immediately. Local operatives have been, local operatives have clearance to utilize Foundation infrared ultrasound and satellite surveillance equipment for the apprehension of SCP-2,531. Uh, I imagine these are sources. Uh, we're going to be looking at a 1984 newspaper article, subsequent redacted interview, subsequent redacted interview. To date, Foundation has... Wait, addendum. To date, Foundation has had four documented encounters with SCP-2531, dating from 1984 to 2014. The original SCP-2531 for 31 file was compromised of SCP-2531-01 through SCP the SCP-2531-04 assuming the fe each fetus was separate but similar entity however further testing has determined that in all occurrences SCP-2531 is the same entity sharing 100% DNA match Physical evidence such as marks made by samples taken, testing, see archive data, or damage to SCP-2531, induced while cutting open and pump the pumpkin wombs further support this theory. However, the pumpkin wombs in each instance have been tested a unique specimen of varying color, size, and genetic makeup. This file has been updated to rectify this error. Archived available, archive data available below. Redacted circa 2014. Alright, hope you enjoyed.